KHQA this morning. It's your news now. Chris Aguirre is live this morning at John Wood Community College. She is cooking this morning. Hope she brings some back. Good morning, Kristen. I am here with Probab Patel, and she is showing us how to cook authentic Indian food. It's a class being offered here at John Wood this upcoming Saturday. Um, so how long have you been teaching here? At least two years. And so you know a thing or two about cooking. Yes. So what, what were you telling me earlier? You're pretty confident in your cooking skills. Yes, I am. I, I love to cook, and I cook very good food. I know that. <laughs> so what made you want to um, start working here at John Wood? Because many people were talking to me that I have to open the restaurant. And I said, no, restaurant is too much work, and it's not possible for me. But I can teach you how to cook the Indian food. Mm -hmm. And that way, I just asked John Wood, and they said, oh, that will be a good idea. <laughs> so what are we going to be cooking here this morning? We are making samosa today. And so what, what is? Samosa is the Indian appetizer. It's very famous from North India. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, then like everybody adopt that like from Gujarat and in South and everybody makes samosa now. So what do you think makes Indian food so much different from all the other ethnic food? All the spices. All the spices. Uh -huh. And we have the spices here. Here. And we are going to tweet out a picture and I want to know if you know what any of these spices are. And coming up later in the show Prabhab is going to go ahead and identify them and we are going to go ahead and start getting some cooking done on our authentic Indian appetizer. I bet I can guess one of them. It's the only one I can think of. Cumin. Oh, curry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, All right. we're going to get a view just across town. Yeah. In Quincy. Well, we're talking a little worldly uh, food this morning. Kristen Aguirre is live. How's it going, Kristen? That's right. We are talking Indian, authentic Indian food this morning. So, earlier, we asked you if you could identify any of these spices. Do you have your guess? What this, are one, this one is a mustard seeds, this is a cumin seed, this is a red chili powder, this is the coriander and the cumin powder, and this is a turmeric. Now, uh, Indian food is definitely known for having all of their spices. Yes. Okay. And that's why it's so tasty. Yeah, that's why mm -hmm. it's definitely so tasty. So we are getting started on our authentic um, Indian appetizer. So what do we, right now we have a hot canola oil heating uh -huh. in a pan. Uh -huh. So now and we are we putting some mustard seeds here. So you put your spices in first. We put spices in first. No, we. I put the mustard seeds in there, so the oil will be hot. It will be like a splatter. Okay. And then I will put this esso fredita. It's here, and I will put like this little bit in there. Still, it's not. So hot. Uh, we're putting kind of spices. Spices, in first and, we, and then, then we will put the onion in there, and then the garlic, and the, all the spices in there, and then later on we will put the potatoes. With little salt because potato doesn't have any salt. I boil it, cut it, peel it, cut it, and put it here. So onions go in first. Uh -huh. And what, what is the app we're making again? Go ahead. What are the app? What is the appetizer called again? Samosa. Samosa. It, it is samosa, and it's like a very famous Indian uh, appetizer. So we're kind of sautéing these up in here. So when did you come from India? I came from India on eighty one, nineteen eighty one, and I moved in Quincy, eighty nine. And so, how did you learn how to cook all of this? I was when little girl. I like to cook, so I was taking a classes in high school. Really? For the Indian cooking. For, so you learned from someone, not from like your mother or anything. Like you learned. From I learned class from my too. mother too, but I, I was like, I want to f eat the fancy food. I love to eat. I love to cook. I love to feed people. That's my. That's your thing. Well, we're hoping that it's going to be your thing, too. Um, uh, Pranab is teaching a class this Saturday here at John Wood. And coming up later in the show, we're going to continue to make this authentic appetizer and tell you details on how you can join her this Saturday as well. She hey, loves Colin, to cook for people. Oh, thank you. I was going to say she should come over here and cook for us. I'll take free food. There's yeah. a, there's <laughs> and we're glad Kristen's here, too, because she's making some Indian food this morning. How's it going, Kristen? Uh, it smells like heaven. I can't even describe it. It's just all the spices and everything. So now we're on our second step of making our samosa authentic Indian appetizer. So what do we have here? This one is like a, we cut the onions and we fry it first and with the, all the spices. And then we put the potatoes, like a cooked potatoes with little 
uh, salt and fry more and more and then make like this and then at last you put the cilantro in there. So we cook it down so it's kind of this like uh, this kind of golden filling, brown yeah. filling. Golden okay, brown so filling. now we are we're wrapping. Yes. Um so what exactly is this? This one is a spring roll wrapper, so which one you can make the samosa and spring roll and one tongue or whatever you want. And that you can get from the Chinese store or Indian store or in Chicago some grocery store too. So you want me to do this? That's right. Okay, so let's see if we could do this. Okay, that's that's like a little flag. So it's also bring your sister to work day. So my sister Caitlin is here with us. So she is going to help us wrap these as well because we got a lot to get through. Okay. So we say no utensils, right? We're using our hands. Yes, we use our hands because you have to push it in. Oh, it's hot. To, don't don't touch it. Okay, Here, so you put like that. Okay. And then you go wrap like a flag. It's mm -hmm. easy. It's not very hard. Uh, it need little practice. I don't think I got it. Um, um, like, it's do, done. Do we have scissors? Uh, no, I no, cut? you cannot cut. Not cut. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just kind of trying to. Okay, I'll start from the beginning. Make the yeah. triangle hot, wait, the hot, way you make... want. See, you make the triangle first here like that okay oh so it's building it's, it's like it's a building flap uh, yeah. oh uh, she's yeah. got it like, so she knows okay and then you go so here so we know who's the cook in the family and is. then here you can go like that and that and then you put the like a glue kind of oh uh, all right there we go and so we're using this to glue it yeah. and and done we have our little appetizers all wrapped up well coming up later on the show we are going to dump them into the oil and finish these off and we'll have a little taste testing as well she gets to taste test. Yeah. We don't, and yeah. folks at home don't. Yeah. Maybe she should deliver them Agreed. to everybody. And now let's check in with Kristen Aguirre, who is at John Wood Community College, learning how to cook some Indian food. Yeah, she's making samosas. Good morning, Kristen. Well, we are getting ready to fry our samosas that we went ahead and wrapped in these spring roll wraps. Um, here's Pradabh, and here is ours. Not so much the prettiest, but we're trying, we're learning here. So what are we doing right now? We are frying the samosa now, and then you can eat with the dates and tamarind uh, chutney. You like uh, warm the dates and then make it cool, and then blend it and put the uh, tamarind paste in there, salt, uh, red chili powder and roasted cumin seeds powder. So we'll go over that, uh, the date sauce, a little bit when we when we plate these. But uh, right now we're just going ahead. So what kind of oil is this? This is canola oil. Oh, so that's canola oil. So about how much is in there? Uh, so, uh, Maybe a little bit over two cups. Two cups, two yeah. cups. And so how long do you have to keep um, keep the, these in here? It's like until it it makes like brown. Until it's golden. And so it's sometimes it's like some people like darker, some people like lighter. So it depends upon whatever you like. So yeah, if you like it extra <coughs> crispy, keep it mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. So um, you could just drop them in there then, right? That's right. And the wa the oil wasn't necessarily boiling. It's just no, really, no. really hot. It has to be hot, like a 350 degree temperature. Okay. Like generally whatever you oh, fry, all the ingredients, like whenever you make chicken and when you make like a whatever fries, fry like a fries, so this dish is really, really simple, but Very what do simple. you think makes it so special? Because it's so tasty. Because it's, well, what makes it so tasty, do you think? <laughs> all the spices. Definitely all the, Indian, the spices. Indian spices make so tasty. Well, coming up after a little bit in the show, we are going to see how tasty these samosas really are because we are going to have a taste test. I hope you guys are jealous back in the studio. Teasing us with it. I know, Eat they em. look so good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kristen Aguirre live at John Wood Community College this morning. Yeah, Get she's cultured. making samosas. How's it going, Kristen? Good morning. Well, now it's time for the big taste test. All morning we have been cooking samosas, which is an authentic Indian appetizer here at John Wood Community College. They are hosting a class for authentic Indian cooking coming up this Saturday. So, time for the big taste test. So, let's go, ladies. Let's dipping so this is our di our date dipping sauce which we'll get to right now mm. <laughs> it's good do i need to talk do i need to tell you how amazing this is or are you reading it on my face it is so good it's crunchy on the outside but so creamy on the inside now um we're dipping in this and what what is in uh, here that's the date um you can buy and the tamarind sauce, you, uh, the paste you can buy from the Indian 
uh, store and you just make the soft date, boil little warm water and put it in there and blend it with the tamarind uh, paste and put like a salt and red chili powder and uh, roasted cumin powder mix very much different when you make the So yeah, this is, a, this is a lot more sweeter, this is a lot more savory. Mm -hmm. So when you serve this out, she, your guests, what are their reactions? The reaction is they don't want to eat anything else. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what, what else can I have in my diet now besides just samosas. That's all I want to eat all day, every day. That's so um, when will you serve the, when would you recommend to serve these to people? Um, we serve when we have a big parties. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning when you serve these people think that, oh, you really know how to cook. <laughs> well, that is a great idea because I have no idea how to cook, so I'm going to fool you people when I have you over for guests. So if you want this recipe, you can go ahead and visit our website, connecttristates.com. And coming up a little bit later in the show, we're going to show you how you can learn how to make this too. I thought for a second they had rendered her speechless. Yes. I thought we had done that. Yeah. Two uh, celebrities call it. Well, cool. all morning long, we have been following our own Kristen Aguirre, who is being a little rude on her own yeah, Because this she's eating all the food that she's cooking. Yeah. Hey, Kristen. Good morning. Yes, I may have had one or too many. That's why I'm standing over here and the samosas are on the other side of the table so that I cannot reach them. So there now is Prabhu Patel who has been teaching us all morning how to make this authentic Indian dish. Now you are going to be teaching a class um, so that other people can learn as well. Mm -hmm. when, when is that? So what I, I tell them that I'm a vegetarian, so I make the vegetarian food. So I use the potatoes and onion. But when, if you want to make like a meat samosa, you can use a beef, turkey, chicken, rather than a potatoes. And you do the same thing with the onions and put all the spices in there. And then you add your meat and cook it. And that's the fillings for you. And then you wrap it in the wrappers, whatever you want, and then fry it. So uh, you teach classes here um, throughout the entire year here at John Wood, mm -hmm. and your next one is when? Uh, next one is uh, this Saturday, and it's a uh, halwa. It's the one kind of sweet dessert, and puri and potatoes. It's like a fried bread, Indian fried bread, and potatoes. Like we make the vegetables from there. Mm -hmm. You can make like a tacos and eat like that. Ooh, yeah. So she's referencing a food group that I know, tacos. Right. And so, <laughs> right. And so um, and then so the other class we have on April 24, and that is a chole bhature. So that's a different another Indian so uh, if, dish. if people take your two classes and they have watched this morning, you almost have an entire feast you can serve, mm -hmm. an authentic Indian food. Well, for more details on how you can join the class, make sure you visit our website, connecttristates.com, and we will also post this morning's recipe on there so you can go ahead and make authentic Indian food at your house. Mm, I'm surprised the first time that Mark showed them that I was expecting like a hand to come out and 